Hello out there, and well gang, it looks like we've got another mystery on our hands as we continue to investigate the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. We finished our sort of introductory section last time, and now we're going to start actually talking to our suspects. Clearly we won't be able to give the son give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damage looks more to be caused from punches? Who could have done that? I found him. What are you two looking at me for? Smashed arcade is added to your inventory. Decent cash rewards for finding this robot. Maybe I'll keep an eye out. Poor Omachow. Hate to see him like this. What did they do? Medical malpractice. Interesting. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, this one's empty as well. I'm starting to think your theory of something always being hidden in the trash is flawed. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. So as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> I think Tails is ignoring me. Breathtaking views. Train passed by some incredible sights. I'm just happy to be traveling at a normal speed. I get nauseous pretty easily. I have to avoid things like roller coasters. I don't mind roller coasters, though I find myself running on the tracks more than I do riding in the carts. I'll never understand this friend group. Perspect, this is interesting. What? It's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are they there? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty? Perspect, this one has lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles' color at all. Someone else must have been here. We should log this. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. Let's find out who this <laughs> Knuckles really is. Robotic Army here is really helpful. What's the arm doing in my hair? He's fixed it up a bit. That's incredible. What interesting tech. Uh-oh, should I fear for my job a little bit? How well can it microwave? Probably better than you. Ah, bowl of sorted nuts. The classic saloon snack. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Kind of bland. Uh, it seems like someone licked all the salt off of them. What the? Puh! Or maybe they're just unsalted. Huh, that's funny. This door is locked tight. I don't know how it's locked. We can't go any further. I wonder how Amy was able to leave then. Good point. Where were these doors locked and how long were they locked for? We'll have to keep this in mind. And also, how do you lock a saloon door? Do you just put a bar of wood in front of it? I found him. I thought I told you to leave me alone. Please don't beat me up. No promises. Knuckles, why you, Why would you ever fight me? No, you bruise too easily. Wouldn't be fun. I bruise easily too. Guess I wouldn't be fun to fight either. No, I'd fight you. Sorry, Perspect. I wish you luck. He's not actually going to fight me, right? Can I take your order? Hmm, not hungry. Well, if you ever are, let me know, won't you? Sure. Like a butler of sorts, right? Come on, Perspect. You're not a butler. Tell him that. Uh, yeah, like a butler. Excellent. Thank you, butler. Dang it. Knuckles, Perspect and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you. Buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. It is? We have evidence, too. We do? Perspect, just take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? Heh. What's the wrong choice, Perspect? Let's try Oh, okay. I mean, I would have thought that the visitor was distracting him, but fine. I guess the arcade game. The ar arcade machine? Ha! What makes you think I touched it? Oh, 
you can jump pretty far. Okay, so maybe that's good to keep in mind. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched all the they touched the arcade machine because the arcade machine is covered in punches. What evidence do you have? What do you evidence do you have in the damages or punches? What are you staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I needed a punching bag and none was available to me. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe you're repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. How will you I'm on it. Perspect, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on. Yeah, I have time for this. Ow. Wow. Ah. Ha. Now, Tails, get away from that arcade again. Perspect, try again, etc., etc. It scales up fast. This is going to get really hard by the end if it keeps scaling at this difficulty. I haven't played this kind of Sonic game in ages. Played a bunch of the 3D ones, but I have not played a lot of the 2D era Sonic. There we go. That's better. It's... Just the Pokemon evolution sound is all I hear with the doo 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 ding 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 ding. The arcade machine is fixed. No, I don't look at the scores. <laughs> Voice disappearing. Quick, look at the scores. Pulling it up now. Okay, what does this tell us? Vector, knuckles, toast, apple, bread, ultim bagel, candy. Okay. Nothing, obviously. I found him. I'll, it tells us something massive. Look at the name on the top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library car. Mm. Picture is beginning to be painted here. You, can play, you competed with Vector to see who would win the, get the highest score. And Vector beat you. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. Urgh. He's punching the air in frustration. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove to me he was here. Now! I don't think it's the lipstick. Now, Perspect, what proves Vector was here with Knuckles? I don't really have any other evidence besides this. No! I thought it was strange there was more than one cup sitting next to you. Well, you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday. You and Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. It's... I'm... It's not like... It's not... I wasn't... Uh, don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say. Vector popped in at the top of the... I found him. Vector popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure out the game... Figure the game out. But when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I... Destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Honest. I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story. And alibi. I've already told the abri an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups. What of the cup with lipstick mark? Rouge was in here too. It's inconsequential. Not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed, made fun of our game, and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up, but I've told you everything that happened before the train sped up. 
Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Hmm, I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visited to play games. Rouge couldn't find something and left. And then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering many of our questions. Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? Huh? Mm. I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on that high score list doesn't make sense to me. Perspect, can you take a look one more time? An odd name on the high score list. What is Tails talking about? Do I have to do a thing? Yes, I do. Toast, apple, bread, Baltim, bagel. All the other names have food theme, but this one. Who goes by Ultim? You may not know Perspect, but there's someone that goes by that title. The ultimate life form. I'm the ultimate life form. I'm the ultimate life form. There's really someone here who goes by that. Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too. He taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. Shadow told me to lock the door and not open it for anyone, then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him, saw no one else, else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not long ago, did you open the door for her? No, I think she has some sort of key too. That's right, the conductor gave her that special birthday key. Well, we have a lot. I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? And what's Rogue, Rogue? Rouge searching for? I don't know. They didn't tell me, even though I asked with a cowboy accent. You're gonna have to find them and ask yourselves. More information than I expected to get here, but it seems so we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library is the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an ear for, ear for me, Detective Tails and Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. Will do, Sheriff. Come on, Perspect. Let's head to the library. How does he know Knuckle? How does he know that Sonic was knocked out? This way is more. This is way more exciting than microwaving chili dogs. Perspect, coming. Ready to mosey on to the next car? You got a partner. Onwards. <laughs> Fake hang in there poster. Oh my God. One of the characters that's like the make, create a character game. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Uh, you aren't carrying it, are you? Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Already? Before you go, SBO and I wanted to give you our presents. My presents? You're both too sweet. Thank you. Hmm. Vector, it seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. Want to join us in finding clues? Flattered, but the pace you two are going, Sonic's murderer will never get found. Oh, she's confident. She must have something up her sleeve. This tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you all around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you, and quick. But how are we gonna leave? The door next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? The birthday girl has a master key. All right, right, the birthday girl gets the birthday key. Of course, it's a birthday privilege. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye! Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now, what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I, um... Here to ask if anyone's hungry. Starved! I'd kill for a chicken parmesan right about now. Maybe kill isn't the right language to use. I'm Vector, the butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. And I'm Espio, the poet. Ah, poetry! A resonant message from poet to reader meant to challenge our, de our delect delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic of prose. No! Prose is not poetry. Poetry and prose are two separate things because the literature major. Can I hear some? Sure. Uh, teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La la la. D D D D. Was that it? I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. 
I'm uh, satisfied for now, thanks. At least he's rhyming, I suppose. Perspective and I are here to establish. Perspective and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh sure, it's simple. We just explained this to Amy actually. When we were all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through the library car, where Amy told me and Espio to stay. I promptly picked a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckle was up to in the saloon car. Yep. Where was Rouge? We happened to see her lipstick and this stain on a cup in the saloon car. A Rouge came through the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went to search the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, No way, at the brochure stand over there. But she left back at the, uh, to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. Wonder what she found? She's obviously been on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car, then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow Shadow walked through the library car, the saloon car, where Knuckles and I were playing games. This ain't... He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by the role in monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he walked through the library car, the casino car again, looking, locking the doors behind him. Then returned to the lounge car, where he was meant to be stationed. When Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelf falling on us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us something. someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm, with all the locked doors, it seems Vector and Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Thanks to both for your co- yeah. Thanks to you both for your cooperation. We're just going to peek around and we'll return with any questions. If you return any meat, I'll chop it up for you. And if you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, I got you covered too. Thanks, guys. Their alibi seems solid enough, but we should still search for clues. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post and determine if Espio is actually in the library car reading. A tall task, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely! Wow! I wish I could stop and look at all these books, but Sonic needs me. No time to rest! Alright, let's move on then. Well, I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. He's scavenging through all the book titles excitedly. He's like a kid in a candy shop, or in this case, a genius in a train library. That's odd. I know some of the books have fallen on the floor and everything, but... Every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order, but this one... Mirage Express Manual. It's a user guide to the Mirage Express, the train we're currently on. Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it is interesting. Let's make a note of this. Was Rouge planning on stealing the whole train? What's the bright red... What's this bright red book? Oh, yuck! This reeks of the evil scientist Dr. Eggman. Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. What kind of recipes? Who cares? I wouldn't trust any book he's written. It's weird that it's even in here. Maybe people just appreciate an omelet. You may not be wrong. I am the Eggman. That's what I am. Fancy a poem? Uh, can I get a poem about space? I've made it up to space with my beloved antique vase, but a mistake in my haste dropped the vase from my embrace, so my antique must I must now replace. What caused you to drop the vase? Don't read too deeply, it's just a poem. He hasn't thought it through, has he? Can I do the other one? Locomotive in motion, I think I lost my lotion. The window shows the ocean, oh wait, there is my lotion. Uh, thanks? I love that the chows are actually like, different chows you could make in the game. That's very cute. I actually really like that one. Huh? I take your order. I have a poem about this. My starved stomach babbled. Oh, I ignored the grumbly tummy. For the eggs I received are scrambled when I asked for my egg sunny. Oh, wow. Um, we don't serve any eggs on the train, though. My talent is wasted on you lot. That one was better. A globe of our marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around much. The islands are fun and all, but I'd love to visit some more of the countries. They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people and shops, and the food can't be beat either. 
Ah, sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was talking about Spagon uh, Spagonia, if you've ever been there. I have, actually. If you're ever visiting, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. He'll tell you everything about the area and make one scrumptious sandwich. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. This group knows everyone and has been everywhere, haven't they? Table? Uh, let's just pause and sit for a second. These chairs are very comfy, so plush. It puts me right in the mood to read. It makes me want to take a nap, personally. In fact, maybe I'll rest my eyes a bit. Perspect, no, don't fall asleep. There's been a murder, remember? If I had a ring for every mur time a murder, ruin a murder ruined my nap time. Oh, poor thing, that arm is really struggling clearing, cleaning up this car. To be fair, it wouldn't, I wouldn't want to clean up this mess either. Let's just leave it alone and do it to do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. Did you bring my, any meat to chop? I may be a butcher, but they confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. You actually tried to bring a knife on the train? I'm a man of authenticity, authenticity tales. Without a knife, I'm just a chef in a ketchup-stained apron, not a butcher. I think you, if you had a knife, you would definitely think you were the mur. We would definitely think you were the murderer. Hmm. <clears throat> but what if I hid the knife? You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. Can I take your order? Oh, yes, please. I'm starved. Actually, I'm off duty at the moment. The murder mystery is more important. Then why would you show the menu to me? Come on, Perspect. Would you... Why would you tease him like that? And here I thought I could trust you. You made a fool of me. Look, Perspect, you've made him a fool. Come on, Perspect, smooth this over. No, I'm the fool. Yeah. Yeah. I smooth things over, but at what cost? Shadow supposedly walked through the library car before going into the saloon car. When Shadow left the library car, he locked the door on his way out. There's got... Hi, loud cat. You startled me. There's got to be a reason he's doing this. Should we make any note of it? Yeah, I do believe we should. Shadow's lock added to your inventory. Glad I clicked on it. I wasn't sure if it would be anything on the doors. No, oh, brochures! There are travel destination ideas here, like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh! Perspect, look at this. There's a couple maps here. This seems to be a map of the library car. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it! Library map added to inventory. Should we take this brochure out of, about a cave, too? Looks like there's stalag- Look, there's stalactites. Nah, I'll leave it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Vector and Espio about what's really happened. Can I look at the map? Uh, not the map. Uh, this map. Not really, but it... Do -do 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 my ace, of, ace attorney brain is turning on. A chow hangs precariously from a tree branch. The large text below reads, hang in there. Wow, I really needed to see this. That little, little chow's hanging in there, refusing to use his wings to fly to safety because choosing the hard way is often more rewarding. That's beautiful. If this chow can stick to his principles and find strength, then I can too. There's no way there was, there was that much thought put into this poster, right? Tails is my favorite. <laughs> So the two of you don't believe us, hey? Uh, so the two of you don't believe us, hey? That's not that we don't trust either of you, but wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the validity of your alibis. First, Beck and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and if Espio really was reading in the library car. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We were prepared to present evidence if neat. Oh, that's easy, I got bored. What? I wasn't even entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remembered the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I figured I'd go check it out. This seems to line up with the information we gathered from Knuckles. And that brings our attention to you, Espio. Rouge entered the library car, found something, then left. You say you immediately started reading, but were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Of course he was. Once Espio starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. It must have been a good read. What was the book? Espio doesn't owe you that, detective. Let the man live. What if... What if it was embarrassing? What kind of thing do you think I read? If you won't talk, I have a hunch what book it might be. Perspect, could you help me out? 
All right, Perspective, what book do we think Espio might have been reading? Well, we only have the one. Manual? You think Espio was reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? I don't... The axes are disconcerting. Alright. Getting better. Getting better. There are books scattered around the floor for sure, but remaining books on the shelves were all put in alphabetical order. All except this manual, meaning someone at the very least picked the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. This lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you, Espio. Hey now, I won't have you insulting my pal like this. Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, Espio. Butler and a poet. A butcher and a poet. Friendship can come from anywhere. That is indeed the book I was reading. The Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. Perspective, if you don't mind. Could you ask Espio some questions about the manual? Just flip to a page and ask away. Oh, I see. Quiz his video about the manual to prove you read it. Which page should I quiz him on? Am I able to check? I mean... Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During the events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning the traction messes afterwards. I remember the tra train conductor thing. Though I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. The robotic arms could also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Seems like SPO aced that question. Perspective. Hit him with another one. Okay, which page do I choose? Uh, let's go later in the book. What is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds you will be charged for no, a no show fee. This does not apply if you are age, over the age of 65. Gee, the person who made this must have been over the age of 65. At least, last one for spec. Let's see if SPO can go three for three. Gotcha, which page should I pick last? I mean, might as well go all the way to the end. What was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease general train obligations? An intelligence data processing system. It works in tandem with a conductor to assure smooth travel for guests. I remember this one. The train has an autopilot, but it can't access uh, but it can't access its full suite of capabilities without the conductor present. Now, did I pass your little test? I think so. Totally, it's wild you were able to retain this information so quickly. A poet's brain is often surprising. I don't know if I'd be bragging about that. You've clearly read the manual. Those answers are far too felt far, feel far too specific to be guesses. And you both had the nerve to question my buddy like that. Don't we be supporting don't we want to be supporting folks who read? You have to admit, though, reading the entire time a murder occurs does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. But he answered all my questions so calmly. That's very impressive. No, no, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate, to be, despite being the truth. Well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we can... SPO, if that's true, Vector was the only one to see you reading? Yes, that's correct, problem. Frankly, I don't believe that can be true. We have evidence to back it up. Perspect? He always puts me on the spot. Okay, Perspect, think we should have evidence linked to someone else who also saw SPO reading, but what? Shadows lock? Please, pray tell what this has to do with anything. We're up to pers- We're up, Perspect. Let's get our argument together. <laughs> Ow. Don't get hit, don't get hit. Don't get hit, don't get hit. Don't get hit. Woo. Do I get an extra life if I get a hundred rings? 
Shadow walked through the library card to get a saloon car where he set the original high score in the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. It wasn't a high score for long. Crocs are natural gamers. Espio said that, she, that he saw Shadow enter the library card, but he mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espio was fully seated reading the book for a good while at this point. We know that Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon car, so there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Ah, uh, I mean, it was a simple slip-up. I was just fully immersed in my book that I didn't notice Shadow. You're telling me that the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't cause you to look up? Well, I, you see... I can sense Espio's desperation here, defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors, then at that moment you were really in the library, were you really in the library car at all? How would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one's on Espio in the saloon car. It's a mystery, my dear Perspect, and one that I'd love for Espio to solve. You gotta believe me. That cool demeanor is vanishing. I was so involved with my book, I noticed, I didn't notice Shadow pass through the library car. Honest. When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. I must avenge my friend's death. So I'll ask you again, Espio. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't. I didn't. Why does that seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's on something, but I don't see it. Was Espio sitting reading, or did he somehow vanish into to not notice Shadow's return to the library car. What should I do? Seeing if there's a space he could have been reading that would have been isolated. I have to make sure our guests are taken care of. I have to speak up. Tails? We have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. All right, my fellow associate, lay it on me. What piece of evidence shows Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another? All right, now time to get my thoughts in order. Good. No, we're not. We're very bad. Oh, they're gonna have to do this one again. Oof. Getting harder. I'm terrified at the fact that there's like several more cars after this and they're already getting kind of nutty. Focused. You're doing great. Whoo! The library map. Oh, oh, I see. See the exits? They're right across from one another and a straight path. If Shadow walked down the straight path, there was a way Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Looks like you have another. You'll, you'll have to point out exactly where on the map you mean. Where could Espio have been for Shadow not see him? Ah, which table? Interesting. That's where I was sitting reading my book. I can second this. When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. That confirms it then. You see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen each other from this spot. Because a book case is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense when you never mentioned Shadow's return, Espio. There's just no way you would have seen him. Oh, I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was gra grasping desperate telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you for both answering all our questions. We, we did it. Another pair of alibis, alibis validated. Too many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm going to crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. 
Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge and especially Shadow. Oh, it seems the door of the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through earlier. Then that's our cue to leave. See you later, S Vector and SBO. Give them heck. If you need meat chopped up, say the word. I'll keep my poetry sharp for both of you. A murderer who is on the loose, while doors keep getting uh, loose, only getting locked. Tick tock tock, at tick tick tock goes the clock, while our heroes are in the caboose. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. We're really doing this. Come on, Perspect, let's see what's in the next. Coming. You sure you don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little longer? Mystery calls. Okay, the investigation continues. Casino car. We're gonna have to play a uh, pinball machine with Sonic. A spinball machine, if you will. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Rouge, there you are. We have a lot of we have a lot to say to you. We visited every train car so far, and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My my, talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? And I see you brought the microwave master with you. Oh, please don't let that be my legacy. Tails is right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Tell him, Rouge. We're gonna need the help. Blaze? All right, I've been hunting for a treasure rumor to be stored here on the train. T treasure? They certainly don't tell me that on the interview. Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell him what it is, Rouge. All right, well, it's a Fabergé chow egg. Wow, that does sound extravagant. Also, apparently Fabergé exists in this world. But please don't tell me you've accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. She roped me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train cars for clues. I deduce that the Fabergé Chow egg is here in this train car, locked in a safe. So wait, the treasure is real? It's actually here? And what you what did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh well, why didn't you? Why don't you both take a look? I found the train's blueprints in the library car with the safe code written right on it. The score of a lifetime. The train's blueprints. Please, Rouge, let us see that. Uh uh uh, finders keepers, sweetheart. There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator, the elevator behind the security guard leads us, leads us right into the room holding the Fabergé Chow egg. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get that card and use the elevator, and our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So you want us to help you steal the Fabergé Chow egg? Blaze... Why did... Why? Why? Uh, I just had something pop up for me. I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Ah, her lore card must be influencing her decisions here. Either that or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Perspect, do you have an opinion on this? I mean, we gotta commit crimes, right? That's cool. Well, I suppose if Blaze and Perspect are in... Okay, let's get that Fabergé Chow egg. <laughs> that's the ticket. Happy to be of help. Now we must plan. Oh boy, what have I gotten ourselves into? Access to access the Fabergé Chow egg room is behind a locked elevator door. The security guard has access card. Do we? Uh, probably distract the guard. Distract them. Perfect. We're all charming enough for that to work. Now, that was actually a really nice thing to say. Perspex, is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. I don't know what voice I'm doing for Blaze. I've given up. If I'm gonna be a cas in a casino, my poker face needs work. Okay, so who's distracting the security guard? I mean, probably either Blaze or Rouge. Probably, I'm gonna say probably Blaze since Rouge is the thief. Think you could distract the guard, Blaze? In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. G great Her voice was so stoic, I have chills. Well, I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? Uh, 
masks. <laughs> Pretend the claw machine's stuck. What's a claw machine in a casino? This will work great as a distraction. Let's continue the plan. With the guard distracted, Rouge, how will you get the access card? I mean... Does grab them mean grab the chow? I just pick the pocket. I'll snatch the access key, no problem. That chow in uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent, we can all count on you, Rouge. Try not to take anything else from them if you can help it. No promises. With the card obtained, we'll need to get Blaze out of there. Perspect, what's your plan? I mean, we're already doing a crime. We might as well also be gay. Then you'd be marrying into the royal family. What is your heritage? And any war crimes I should know about? What will I, um... You dress far too plain. You wouldn't... Oh. I thought I, I did everything wrong. It's fine. I was thinking Rouge would be pretending to be a spouse. I don't know why. That was a silly thing to assume. Maybe you should try something else. Interesting. You give up far too easily. Well, we'll have to work on your fortitude. I said we'll try something else. Okay. I guess I've been getting the rest of them right. There's a drink without a coaster. Absolutely vile. I can't think of, I can think of nothing worse. Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. The guard will go running immediately, I'm sure of it. Great, and with the guard distracted, we'll all head to the elevator. And just like that, we all make it to the elevator. Inside, we... <laughs> what the heck? I mean, pop some apple cider. Now that's a proper victory! Oh no, one last security measure we didn't account for. What do you do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? Have tails to say. I should be able to disengage them. I'll just need some time. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no, tails is taking a while, and the arms are tightening their grip. Pretend there's nothing wrong. Tails managed to do it. Darlings, I'm happy to say this plan is perfect. If everyone is ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready. Let's begin. All right, let's see what the what's up that elevator. I knew the plan would go off without a hitch. We couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. Our planning beforehand was very thorough, I must admit, and it went exe it was executed to perfection. Good, <laughs> conveniently off screen. Enough of chatter. Now we claim that they're our real prize. I have a safe code right here on these blueprints. Let's claim our Fabergé chow egg. <laughs> no questions. This has got to be the safe with our treasure. Enter the code on the blueprints and find out, Rouge. On it, sweetheart. Let's see. 230401. I wonder what that's a reference to. Probably something. Maybe like the date that the original Sonic came out or something. Oh, wow. It's here. <laughs> I have it. All right, before anyone let, get, sees us, let's get out of here. Hold on, kiddo. We can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever? Rouge, spit it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret because anyone who's opened one has never lived to tell the tale. You can open the egg? You sure can. And all of them will bear, and you, all of you will bear witness to its secret, or die having opened the egg. Rouge, I don't know if you should. All you need to do is twist it. Tick, 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 tick. <laughs> uh oh. Rouge, has no one lived to tell the egg's secret because each egg is a bomb? I think you're onto something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of that egg now. Dispose of it after all our hard work? Rouge? Fine, fine, but what do we do? Where should I put this thing? That's an excellent question. What do we do with a bomb? I mean, throw it and lock in the safe. Quick, put the egg back, Rouge. Ugh. Okay, fine, it's going back in. Tails, the safe won't lock. The door's staying wide open. What? Close the door and twist the dial! I obviously am. There must be 
some weird way to relock the door. There's no other buttons or dials. How are you supposed to? We don't have time to mess around with this. Think of something else. <laughs> here, give it to me. Get as far away from as possible. Just remember you're the hero. No, Perspect, we won't let you do that. I mean, if that's what they want to do, who, who are we to stop the microwave kid? Obviously not going to sacrifice themselves. Their body's far too scrawny to contain any sort of blast. True. Let's think of something else quick. <laughs> These are great. So as they say, love always prevails. I still hear it ticking. <laughs> what a prude. <laughs> <laughs> these are these are great. I oh I'm gonna I'm not gonna do all of these. I'm, I'm just gonna see what happens. But oh my god, these are great. Yank away, tell the egg to stop. Pails of blood. Finish taking and see what happens. Are you insane? Do you want us to blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb. Perspect. That's our goal. Listen, listen. I get that. But what if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right. Perspect. I think you're onto something. Huh? What's right? Spit it out, kiddo. We don't have any time. Sorry, it's just SBO did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train's manual. S okay, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was this installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During the event, they can perform a variety of tasks, and they're responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Those robot arms that attacked us in the elevator seem to have a lot of functions here on the train. If a bomb was brought onto the train disguised as a fabricated chow egg, the arms would have detected it and would have been allowed to move on. La, 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 la. The only other person who knows about the coming and going of the train is the conductor, and he sure really wouldn't allow such a thing either. So if we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. Okay, we wait. Okay. The egg, it opened, it's hollow, not a bomb at all. You both really were on something. Phew. My, my, well, that's one way to get a hard racing. I'm completely relieved. My hunch was right, thankfully. Ian, look what's inside. Wow, look at that sparkle, and it's so heavy, too. The final secret to the Fabergé Chow egg is a chow covered in gems. It's perfect, it's exquisite, it's revolutionary. Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? Though I must admit it, it is stunning. You said no one lived to tell the Fabric AO egg secret. Wonder why if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know, who cares? What a precious treasure, a beauty to behold. Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them? Uh, as much as fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call, let's go. Do we still have to do detective duty? <laughs> No one seems to suspect anything. The security guard is back at their post. Hopefully they subdued the drink coaster to fiend okay. Thank you both as your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was strangely fun, but I'd prefer to never do it again. Now Rouge, Rouge? She's completely absorbed in the bedazzled chow. Well, what, what, what is it, darling? About those blueprints. Now that you're done with them, maybe we could take a look? Well, I appreciate your assistance. It's as I said, finders keepers. I'll need them a little longer in case I missed any other treasures, but I promise to let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can't just add sweetheart to the end of the sentence to make things better, but I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. Well, we'll get out of your way for now, then. We have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge, but we always just have a, we also have just as much suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck, you two. The door's unlocked, both of you. Stay safe. Thanks again. Will do. Come on, Perspect. Let's head out. Gotcha. The mystery continues. Uh, we'll read through the rest of this room and then end this episode here. The capabilities of the robot arms are quite spectacular. I'm impressed every time we see them. I can't help but wonder how they're controlled. I don't know, the conductor was ordering it around a bit earlier. At the very least, things operate much smoother with them here. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, it's true, they're very versatile. Pulling off that heist was much more enjoyable than the rest of these casino games. 
Can I take your order? Can I interest you in anything on the menu? I'm content for now, thanks. The whole maybe the egg is a bomb thing destroyed my appetite. <laughs> yeah, I was nervous myself. We can tell. You sweat out you of your uniform pretty often. Yeah, you're a very um, animated person. Wow. Do you think you could go over your alibi again? When Amy brought, began the mystery, what did you do? Sure, we left the dining car and Rouge pulled me aside to talk about the Fabergé chow egg. We walked around the, and talked to the casino car when we, eh, where we went our separate ways. I scoped around and discovered the egg was here. After that, I played the slot machines. The train did a sudden jolt, which was odd, but I didn't leave the car. I gave Amy her present when she stopped by. Shadow passed through as well, but it was brief. He gave me an exit key and left. Interesting. Do you have any sort of proof you were here playing the slots? I do, actually. I kept winning, so I saved the, ca the cash-out voucher. You can take a look. Let's see here. 14,000 credits? That's an enormous payout. How did you... I'm just naturally lucky, I suppose. That smirk. She's so self-aware. Well, thank you for your time, Blaze. Anytime. And Tails, do tell Cream I say hi, won't you? Of course, can do. Ah, uh, Cream the Rabbit. The name that sounds the most like a weird sex thing. Dr. Eggman's built a lot of casinos run to run around in, but I've never actually sat down and played any for fun. Uh, I'd rather play blackjack than hold them. I don't know how to play that. Thanks again for your help earlier. Now, what can I do you for, darlings? Are you hungry? What a paltry menu. Not a lot of options, sweetie. I think I'll have to pass. Not a problem. Just let me know if you need something later. Sure. If, if I need a bag of chips, I'll holler. Your alibi. Do you think you can go over your alibi again first, Rouge? When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Well, once Amy and I and Bla Amy paired Blaze and I up, I immediately roped her into the Fabergé Chow Hunt. We split up at the casino car, and I went searching for the blueprints. I walked back through the library and saloon car, so I found in the library car. Did you see Sonic at all during your search? Sonic? No, I don't believe so. I remember them in the dining car at the beginning. Do you have any anything to support your claim? Listen, plenty of people saw me po poking around, and I have blueprints on me. I hardly had time to chase Sonic down, murder him, and find the blueprints myself. We appreciate you answering your questions, Rube. Take care now. Likewise, darling. Alright, let's see what our next room is, and get going. Let's do it! Lounge car. Now this is a good time as any to clean out my pockets. That's an edgy looking Amy post. Amy Rose, I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking these doors. It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons, I... No reason is convincing enough, it's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? Hmm, I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. Well, see, you, when you say your microwave chili dogs are delicious, I think I read all of that wrong, and I apologize. I'd also like to know what you've been why you've been locking doors throughout the train shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. Hmm. I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, Perspect, it seems like Shadow isn't going to talk, so let's do some investigating. All right, ready to find some answers, Tails. Indubitably, my dear Perspect. And that's where we're going to leave off. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see. Um, I know this game's pretty short, so we might finish next time, but uh, whatever happens, thanks for joining, and I'll see you next time. Bye!